Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Arctic Fox 811. This particular model is in the Solitaire Azul interior. Let's start off on the beautiful big kitchen. You'll see you have the nice pantry right over here. This top part does slide out and then you have some additional shelves right down below. Nice big countertop here, especially because they give you a large countertop extension that extends the countertop all the way out to here. So great prep space. They also give you a sink top cover as well as the cooktop cover here. Uh, this just folds back nice and easy. You will see there's a backsplash behind here as well. It's a clear uh, backsplash, but that's great. That makes it nice and easy to clean up. That way you're not cleaning up wallpaper. You also notice the three burner cooktop here. The thing I like about this cooktop is not only do you have a stainless steel cover, but you have a stainless top too. It helps uh, have everything blend right together. And then down below in lieu of an oven, they give you huge storage. Take a look at this. Nice sturdy drawers. You have two full extension ball bearing drawers there. And those are plenty large uh, and heavy duty enough to have your pots and pans. Some additional storage over here. This one again is nice and deep there. And then more right below that. Underneath the sink here, you see you have a little storage area as well as access to your water heater. And then over here, both of these do open up too. You have the double bowl sink right here in the center. As I mentioned, it does have the cooktop or the uh, sink top cover. This is cutting board quality. So if you wanna flip it over, use one side as a cutting board, and then on the other side, stay nice and pretty so it looks good, you can certainly do that. Big window here lets in a lot of natural light. And then you have a two stage LED light here in the kitchen. So that way you can adjust the brightness, you know, depending on whether you're cooking or just hanging out. Over here to the side are your main control panels. You'll see your systems monitor here, uh, which that way you can measure all of your tanks and battery and everything else like you would expect. Water pump, uh, water heater is on there. The water heater does run off both gas and electric, and you can turn on both of those at the same time for higher recovery. You'll also see the generator control is there as well. Thermostat right here, multimedia uh, center right over to the side. This one is touch screen, which is nice. And that is hooked up to your TV because this is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, this is where it would go. Uh, then right over here is your ZAMP Solar. You see it does come with the charge controller there, which is awesome. So that way you can get the trickle charge on your batteries. Let's take a look up top here. We'll open this guy up. Beautiful uh, hardwood cabinet fronts there. You see you have a shelf built in. This one over to the other side is nice and open. That way if you have some larger items, you have a spot to put them. Right here is your microwave, stainless steel on that. And then underneath is your hood with a light and fan. Uh, as we move over a little bit, a couple things right here. You will notice you have a step. This, of course, is to climb up into the bed in the cab over. But there's also an electrical outlet down here. So that way, when you have the countertop extension, if you need to plug some items in, that is where you can do it. Uh, right here, you see the pass-through window for the pickup. That's nice to have there. The shade, of course, to close it off. And then right down here, look at that. Nice extra uh, storage tray, kind of hidden storage in the step. But they do put that plastic liner in there, so that way everything can stay nice and organized. Then rounding out the kitchen right across the way is your fridge-freezer combo. Uh, yeah, as you saw, I had the stainless steel panels. This one is Norcold brand. This one does run off pro uh, propane and electric as well, and also has automatic switchover on it. Then right over here, you can see a nice little spice rack. Let's take a look at the cab over. Right in the center is your queen bed, and on both sides, you have excellent storage. Starts right over here. You'll see a nice little drop down door. Then you have a large trough going all the way up. You can open up the foot locker doors. You will have those on both sides. Right up top here, you see a nice adjustable shelf. And on both sides up near the head of the bed, you have mirrored wardrobe space. You'll also notice a shelf across the top, some LED reading lights there, and your headboard is a shelf as well. You'll also notice by the headboard, you have standard electrical outlets as well as dual charging ports, having both your 12 volt plugins and dual USB ports. 
Right up top in the center on the ceiling is a Max Air fan. If you don't want to run the AC, this does a great job of circulating the air throughout the camper. Then right over here, you have more wardrobe storage and a location of where your countertop extension can store. The other half of your slide out is the Dream Dinette. As I mentioned, you have the nice solitaire azul pattern here, and the cushions themselves in the Arctic Fox are extremely comfortable. The other great thing about the dinette, it does drop down into an additional sleeping area. If you need that sleeping space, there's a lever right here you can flip over and then push the table down, put the cushions on top to create that bed. Underneath, you also have an electrical outlet in case you need to plug in any electronics and you have easy access storage underneath the bench seats. The one side you see has a drop down door, the other side has a nice large drawer. One more hidden spot for storage is actually in this step right here. This lifts up and exposes a very long storage area, which is great for things like broken down fishing poles. The bathroom in the 811 is a full wet bath. You'll see the foot flush lever toilet here. The bottom, of course, is your shower pan. You have a very large countertop in there. The sink, which is attached to your hand wand. Also mirrored medicine cabinet, LED light. Up top is a large skylight giving you additional headroom, letting in a lot of light. You also have a vent fan there and a covered toilet paper holder on the wall. Now that we've seen the gorgeous and spacious inside, let's take a look at the outside and some of the construction features. One of my favorite parts about the Arctic Fox is the fact that this is one piece fiberglass from the nose all the way down into the bulkhead. That helps prevent any kind of leaks and water intrusion here in the front end. You'll also notice it has Rico Titan jacks. They're heavy duty 2,500 pound jacks there. And take a look at the bolts. You have over 20 bolts on each jack. It also helps support it here from the bottom to ensure that it lifts and lowers nice and easily without tearing. Another construction feature I really like about the Arctic Fox is the frame itself. Obviously this is fiberglass on the outside, but underneath you have aluminum tubing. What they do is they put wood, uh, wood block anchors in those aluminum tubes. That way the screws have something to bite into. Definitely a great feature. Nice extra storage right here with a magnetic latch. And when we come around the back side here, they have made a couple of changes. One of the great changes is this. They put on a grab handle. It may seem small, but that makes it a lot easier to get into the coach, especially when you have the beautiful Fox landing uh, porch right here. This does fold up and out of the way. This step right here is also removable. Once you remove that step, that will give you access to the Joey tray right there. Underneath, you will see you have a propane quick connect in case you want to hook up a grill, as well as storage here in both sides of the bumper. This ladder does fold up. That will give you access to your 2500 watt LP Cummins Onan generator. When the ladder is down, you can obviously climb up onto the roof. If you've seen some of Arctic Fox's literature, you know they can easily support over 30 people up on the roof of the Arctic Fox. You have a power awning on the back here as well. Touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You'll also notice outside speakers. That way you can sit out here and listen to uh, music and those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. Right down here is an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in and you have plumbing access right here. You also on the door itself has an e easy open grab handle. That way if you're a little bit lower, rather than having to reach up and grab the handle itself, you can grab this bar and simply move the bar to open the door. On the other side, you have your two 30 pound propane tanks, plumbing access, the battery compartment with a slide out tray, which is large enough for two batteries and additional storage right down below. On the, moving up a little bit, you have your inlet for satellite and cable, 30 amp detachable power cord. This unit is, uh, or does have the ZAMP solar on it, as we mentioned. And then right here is the outside shower with hot and cold access. Not only are the 2018 Arctic Fox graphics eye appealing, they've also incorporated the top truck colors into the design to make a great looking combination rig. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Arctic Fox 811. This one has the solitaire azul interior. 
you're interested in this truck camper and you like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.